guys! Jake and Marissa back again for more live reactions to This is Kev's Sentai Patranger. Pew 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 So this week uh, we finally um, released a new episode of Power Reviews. That actually happened. So in case you missed it, uh, that you is... You know this is reminding me of? Guys, do not forget we have community captions open. Yeah. Because this oh, yeah. is how you applaud in sign language. Oh, that's true. Um, and I know that I try and get the actual episodes, like 84, I'm going to get captioned. Yeah. Because uh, I have the scripts for that. But these are free form and we could really use your help. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, any, cool anyone who submits that. one that gets actually used, we will give you a shout out. All right. Cool. Yeah, I totally forget about those. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, well, just applauding reminded yeah. me. Um, so, once again, still, still a little uh, light on news as far as Power Ranger stuff. Yep. Um, still, I'm still hoping that we get some word on what's going to happen to the to the band uh, to the um, Saban em employees after. Uh, Oh, After you know Saban what, speaking of Saban down. Brands, what, what's 84. Up? 84, oh yeah, what, episode 84 or something else with the number 84? No, episode 84, what happened to it? Oh, yeah, we got, we got a little, uh, little copyright claim on that, uh, for the first time in a long time with it, with the Power Reviews episode. Yeah, cause, um, uh, Jake's been on a whitelist for a while. Yeah, so this, it, it seems like, uh, it's not a copyright strike. No, Just not a strike. claim, which means they take our ad revenue, which... Yeah, it's, it, that's the first time they've done that for a Power Reviews episode since uh, I got enrolled in the Power Force, really. Yeah. Um, so since you spoke with them So appar it. apparently everything's fair game now. Normally I would reach out to somebody, but I know they're only going to exist for like three or four more weeks, so... Yeah, I'm... So I, we don't even I know figure if I'm, if I'm off the list, they're not going to yeah. put me back onto a list gonna say like Hasbro is probably not going may not be as as kind to us as Savon was yeah so th so those uh, agreements I guess are 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 finito at this point uh, they may not they at this point the power force doesn't really, really exist like technically speaking you know any agreements we signed you know legally I, I assume are still intact but functionally not really yeah there's nothing going on there yeah I mean, um, I'd say the the most ongoing power force thing is the fact that the Boom Comics keep coming in the mail. Yeah, that's nice. Yay, Boom Comics! Yeah. Um, it's it's usually a little faster just to go down to the local comic book shop, but uh, I do appreciate getting the comics in the mail. Yeah. Um, well, also because then you don't have to go down to the comic shop, which... Yeah. But still, you know, it's good to support uh, local comic book shops. Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... I'm I'm excited for Power Reviews being kind of back into the rotation again. Hopefully, uh, with you know the semester kind of uh, winding down, winding down a little bit. Um, I, I, there's only like three weeks left in in, in this semester. It's Jeez. it's a short eight week semester. Um, so I'm gonna my classes are gonna be done before the before the month is out. Um, so hopefully, uh, I'll be able to. Release eighty five uh, in relatively short order. I, I'm not making any promises, but I, I'd like to get it out before like the Fourth of July, <laughs> which which I think is is uh, is not unreasonable. It's not an unreasonable goal. No. Um, especially now that I have a helmet. I'm working Fourth of July. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's annoying. I got Thanksgiving and Fourth of July this year. Okay. Um, but yeah, now that I have the the new helmet, which uh, as you guys. Uh, if you, if you haven't seen it already, I posted a little Jake says hi with the helmet. He on did my a head. box opening. It was my idea. Yeah, I did. I did a little unboxing. Unboxing. Uh, uh, video, which which I haven't done before. I know people do. Somewhere videos. I still have the raw footage for my unboxing of. Uh, of what? Of my second ball jointed doll. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I never made it into a real video. And I didn't. Was that like five years ago? No, two. Oh, okay. Oh right, right. So that was. That was after. That was that. Okay, so oh, that so not even oh, four years ago. Ding. Oh, oh, right. I right. said the name of the school. Yeah. Help. It's ding okay. out the name of the school, please. Yeah, we we like to 
eliminate this is any, just me any details making like that. it easy for you to find. Yeah. Um, that doesn't count for the swear jar, but right. it does need to be censored out. Yeah. Um, but at the school. I made the but, video at the school. But yeah, so now I do have a Phantom Ranger helmet from Anarchy Cosplay. It's gorgeous. It's very nice. It, it smells it, like paint. It sm still smells like paint. Uh, little, it's so fresh and new. It's like new tire my Adam's apple. New, new, new helmet smell. Um, yeah, it still, it still has that new helmet smell. Um, but this should hopefully uh, streamline a lot of stuff when it comes to my production now that I don't need to worry about working around the CG helmet. Mm. Um, but, I mean, there's there's still plenty of other stuff. One nice thing is uh, is I got to do some other new effects shots uh, in the last episode, so it'll be just nice to have that uh, effect shot already functional as well. Yeah, because um, sometimes you can just drop in something an effect that you've used before yeah. and use it again, but sometimes you have to come up with whole new... Yeah, and there like, were quite a few completely new ones in 84, but well, it'll be well, handy in future videos. Well, well 80, 83 was a really big one. Uh, 84 uh, had really, really was mostly just one sequence uh, that's going to... It take me a while. It did take me a little while. Um, but now that's taken care of, uh, and 85 is going to be uh, a... Another big game changer. Pretty much at, at, at this point, most it's episodes. It's just wham, 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 most wham, episodes all are the way to the finale. In some way, shape, or form. Um, uh, the, the, we, we, got, we got some heartbreakers coming up, is what we got. That too. Oh, man. Like the, like the next, like, three episodes are going to be some. We got some heartbreakers coming. You mean like Kachiru? Breaking the fun, heart of that girl. Fun fact. Uh, I, I saw somebody uh, in the comments um, w made mention uh, in the last live reaction. Do you know who is apparently the most popular character in Lupin Ranger vs. Path Ranger? Well, I do now because you told me before this video. Did I? Yeah. When? I told you that last week? Yeah, when the comment came in. It's Katira. I don't think I told you that. You told me. I don't remember telling you. You told me. Um, but yeah, uh, that was a I'm a cop! I was not expecting Kichiro to be the most popular character, because he's, like, our least favorite. I'm a cop. I mean, he's fun to make fun of, but it's like... He has anger issues. He's, uh, he's a problematic character, and I'm kind of shocked that he's so popular. He's a jerk. Um, he's, he's the least... He's the least likable person out of either team. And he's just fun to make fun of. <laughs> I mean, his deadpan's pretty great, but... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm Now, this is as that. a person. Yeah. Okay. Like, the, actor, the actor's the actor, doing fine You know, job. the character is compelling, and the actor's doing a great job. This is just, like, if we were judging Kichiro as a person. Yeah. yeah. He's a jerk. Yes. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so... Now that, we've, now that we've reached that, some more. yeah, because I got to uh, places to be in about an hour or so. Yeah, that's where I was trying to come around. Yeah, thank you very much. So, time for, I got the little, time little force. Thing. No, no, da, not that, da, 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 not that. Da, 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 da. Time for episode 18 of Kaito Sentai Luba Ranger. This is Kaito Sentai Pat Ranger, the, the secret, secret of, of the, the collection. collection. Oh. Ooh. Magical sound. You going to make it full screen? Yep. Oh. Oh. He's serving up tea for everybody. That's nice. No, he's the junior. Yeah. It's the kohai, which is the opposite of the senpai. Oh, they're having a quiet day. That's not gonna last. Yeah, there you go. Whoa. Hey. Um, it's uh. It's, it's the black sheep. What's going on? That is a good question. I think he burst out of where they've been keeping the safe. Maybe. Remember, they have his safe. That's true. That's why he's bursting out of the middle of their building. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. 
So it looks like uh, it looks like that them having him safe actually is something relevant. Yeah. Hey, goody. Uh, to be one, it feels good. Booming through through the engine roar. I don't. I feel like I've never heard that before. Have I heard that before? Uh, probably. Yeah, booming through. Let's reach out for justice. Justice. This is a longer combination sequence than I've seen in a while. Yeah, we're, we're getting the full the full sequence here. Alright. Mysterious pass, treasures but... left by the Phantom Thief Austin Lupin, known as the Lupin Collection, have been stolen by the ganglers. The thieves who fight to recover what they've lost. The police who fight to protect world peace. Whose side are you, you are. on? Bang, 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 bang. Yami no nakade. Ute hini wa aru silhouette. Kono shutai. Shiri takeria, catch me if you can. Destiny, yokoku suru. Honta no, no ki wo, rikai suru mona dake ni hikari hanatsu mongai fushutsu no collection. Lupin, carry me mount, chase you up anywhere. Ubai keisu, nishinai shitoku wo toku satame daiwa wa muase. Lupin, Same Tikaru, Chase you up, Yatsura ni adu, Azayaki ni Lupin Ranger. It's showdown. Ah, we got a little ahead of ourselves. I feel like we're getting better. The Daya, the Dayaru Moase, I still, it's, it's such a, Combination of vowels that I just haven't quite gotten the hang of that part. All right. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's not hitting us. Oh. Oh. Who is it hitting? Oh. Oh. What's happening? Oh, he's got a. Does he have a piece of the collection? He must have a piece of the collection. The safe is empty. Must be. Ghosh must have done something. Oh yeah, Goody. Goody. Goody just realized that a piece of the collection is in there. Yeah, he's trying to stop them from destroying the collection. He said no. If Goody says no, you're not doing it. Oh, he's bringing in the Lupin Rangers. Okay, there, 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 there we go. So selfish. Hey, Destra. Gosh. I had a feeling Ghosh was behind this. Of course she was. She's the only one who made people big. Yeah. Uh, it looks like when she made him big, she also uh, gave him a piece. Yep. Um, question. So, did she just sneak into the uh, Patch Ranger base? It's not a very secure base. Yeah. Where'd he go? Yeah. 
yep, when his remains suddenly yeah. grew gigantic. Interesting. Yeah, it was Gaush. It has to be Gaush. That's a good question. How'd she get in there without them noticing? Probably has something to do with the, the collection piece. Maybe. Invisibility. How did they know the lab had the safe? That's a better question. Hmm. What's Amigo? How does Amigo get this intel? This whole thing's a drag. Hmm. So Destra gave him the piece. So how'd they vanish like that? Your own collection. Piece. Oh, no, well, he's got two. He's got two safes. So yeah. he's still got a piece. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Adapted for human use. Created by humans. Okay, so the VS, so VS changers, changers are are basically uh, ad uh, they're, they're they're basically adapters. Yeah. Uh, the, the trigger machines may very well have already been existing pieces, but the VS changers seem to be adapters. I wonder if the VS changers could be used to adapt other pieces yeah. of... Yeah. Oh, he's doing the crazy uh, floaty fleece clouds like his brothers, like his brother did. That was sound? Well, that's what it was doing. It was making weird sounds when it was floating around. But. Interesting. And you know why. I'm not sure they do. <laughs> well, I mean, they did destroy his brother, who did sure. blame them for destroying him. So hopefully they at least remember that part. Um, have you considered that maybe it's a trap? It's a trap. Yeah, they ain't goody. Are going to try and take Goody Striker back from the thieves? Wait. He was sent to them? That's what they believe. Sent by French headquarters. Interesting. But here's the thing. Goody Striker is, you know, sapient? Yeah. He can go wherever the heck he wants. Okay, he's just kind of floating around. Yeah, he's, he's got his, his whole duty is to protect the collection. They make him feel wanted, I guess. Yeah. 
Outside the door, who's like, the, the connection is more important than their lives, too. Does this say pretty well? Yeah, pretty much. Alright, that's good information. Well, now they know where to go. Okay, so they're, they're giving them the. Uh, it's a trap. Oh, okay. Hmm. He's not wrong. Yeah. Okay. Kind of just trying to find Goody Striker still. Yeah. Is is he on the swings? That is so sad and adorable. He's using his little jet booster to to push himself on the swing. I mean, it's a, it's a cliche of Japanese media that some sad person is sitting alone in a swing. Yeah. In but now it's a sad toy. Well, this, this pretty solidly supports Kogre not being arson open. His duty is to collect, protect the collection, so he's going to help them. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> little, little mini bound. Alright. Why, why aren't you just going in with your toys? 
お前になくても俺たちにあるんだよカイトチェンジワンゼロワンゼロブルーツーセックスゼロワンワンゼロ Interesting how they each have different codes. I hadn't really noticed it uh, before. Um, oh, we're getting the full roll call here. Yeah. This one uh, is definitely leaning on full full sequences. I was going to say, they must have had a... A little bit of a... They, they probably came up short. Yeah. You put in the full stuff and then you fill out that extra time. There we go. Uh, okay. Pad Rangers, don't, don't mess things up. What? Really? No. Dude, no. Really? Really? Yeah. Also, to be fair, Lumen Rangers really should have just gone in there with their swords. Fair enough. But here's the thing. They can't make him Yeah, do exactly. This. They, yeah, they can't force it. Can they, can they force it? They can force a combo? I don't think they can force him to stay in the combo. They shot him out of their doo doo hickey, though. Yeah. Nice! Ah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Kitro, you started this fight, to be perfectly fair. You started this fight. Can all y'all stop fighting the cockpit? I spread people! You just keep getting I in the, the way. Road! I like how they're both saying you just keep getting in the way. But really, Kitro, you really do just keep getting in the way. Nice. Kyrie, you're rocking it right now. You are manning a three person Zord. Megazord while fighting off a pair of belligerent cops. Yeah. Now they're on the wrong seats. Yep. There we go. <laughs> no, they're going to start fighting again, aren't they? Yeah. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, he's still got that piece. Blade be used to. to Blade crack it. is a safe cracker. Nice. There we go. Oh, it's still normal size. It stays small. All right, you gotta dive in there. There we go. Nice. Oh, 
I'm, I'm curious I if... Now, right now it's Lupin Kaiser, but before it was technically Pat Kaiser. Are the... Is the main body in the typical format, or is it in the... Still in the Pat Kaiser format? I have trouble telling the, the difference between the main body on the two. Are you sure it's not the same main body? No, it, it's, it's a slightly different combo, I believe. Um, like, one's backwards and the other's... The, one's the reverse of the other. It's just like, you know, he's, he flips it over for, for jet versus truck. Kaito! So what was that experiment? Hmm. They don't know either. But apparently the Dom's got uh, quite a bit of... Uh, Candles? Well, it, was, it got a bit of faith in Destra. He trusts him. might still help them. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's fun to help out the, uh, the cops. He likes helping. Sometimes he likes helping the cops. Sometimes he likes helping them. The price for disobeying orders. So I'm, I, I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of uh, personality influencer that makes him do something wrong that gets him fired. Is, is my assumption. Possibly. What are these? Got a pair of little. <laughs> Apparently they're selling little, uh, cute little phone stands. You can get it at the theater. That's nice. Apparently you can also get a common ra uh, common Rider. Yeah, a little common Rider build. Um, back to back with one of the other riders on build. I don't know the riders on build that well. Yeah. Um. Why am I with Lupin Ranger? Well, that was a good episode. That was a good episode. Uh, I, I liked... Uh, some of the creative elements with the uh, with the battle. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, the Pat Rangers are really still just clueless and in the way so often. So often. They just... Kugure is really, like, I don't know what to make of him. Yeah. Like, it, every time I start to think I know what the deal is with him... I don't anymore. Yeah. I don't know what's going on Like, with I mean, on the one hand, he's mysterious and appearing and not appearing and seeming to actually care more about the collection pieces of the people and going, you know, yeah. they're playing right into my plan, he says this after he shuts the door. And then on the other hand, excuse me, he's doing finger puppets and trying on aprons. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with this guy. Uh, yeah. His, his loyalty, much like with Goody, seems to be solely to the collection. Mm -hmm. um, and it's interesting to know that the collection is from the gangler's world. Yeah. Uh, which explains why they're the only ones who can use it. Um, but the thing of it is, is that if, his, if he was solely interested in the collection, yeah. I would have expected his response to be like, I'm not doing this. But instead, he's just like. Uh, I guess he didn't have anything else to do that day. <laughs> he was just kind of taken off. He was just kind of taken off guard by by the situation. Um, but yeah, so I guess the Lupin collection was stolen all from the Ganglers, and then the Ganglers stole it back, and now the Lupin Rangers are trying to steal it back but again. Yeah. So I I guess the Lupin Rangers technically are thieves. Are thieves because. The collection really belongs to the Ganglers. Yeah. Or does it? But they said it came from their world. True. Doesn't necessarily mean it belongs to these particular Ganglers. I mean, 
if it, they have a whole world, it could belong to some other River Stew monster we've never met before. Yeah. Who isn't involved in any of this because he's at home, you know, drinking tea and having biscuits and not trying to screw over the human world. Yeah, pretty much. Um, meanwhile, the Pat Rangers, they're just all about... They do not care about the Lupin Collection No, they give all. no... They just care about the, uh... They just want to kill ganglers. They just want to kill ganglers, which is... Which is a little, like, blood nighty you know, on their part. Yeah. They just... Like, they're not... Kill, dealing murder, with, murder, kill! They're not dealing with, like, any other form of crime, really. Just cracking and killing ganglers I mean, is their whole they're thing. they're police officers, but they're acting more like... A military at war. Pretty much. Um. I mean, the difference between a police officer and military is that when it police are supposed to be keeping order, and military are supposed to be killing the enemy, and they are, yeah. or keeping order extrinsically, as opposed to in inside your... Yeah. Like, police are supposed to manage the peace internal to their community. Right. And that's not what these police are doing. No, not not really at all. It's, and, and they and they keep starting fights with the Lupin Rangers. They just have no... They do not seem to recognize that their jobs would be way easier if, if they... If they just teamed up with the Lupin Rangers? Yeah. Like, they're really behind all of the problem... All of the conflict between... Between them, which is... I mean, seriously, if they just said to Lupin Rangers, all right, all right, all right, hey, hey, here's the deal. You get the collection piece, yeah. and we get the kill shot. Yeah. They'd be all like... That'd be fine. Fine. They've got no problem with that. Just let them get the collection piece. The collection pieces are important. There's... I, I, I here's was, the thing. Usually the collection piece gets taken out when they're quite small. Yeah. Which means that the Potter, Potter Rangers could still have all of their, like press for being the big savers of the world, because if they let the Lupin Rangers handle the ground stuff, and then the yeah. Battle Rangers handle the Zord stuff, because most people aren't going to see the ground fight. And one thing I find interesting is that, um, apparently Blade and Scissors can also hack safes. I'm curious if Cyclone or uh, can hack safe. I'm curious if any of the other, um, you know, VS machines, or, or whatever they're called, uh, have special abilities. We've never seen any abilities by the um, by the Path Ranger Max. No. Um, they don't. They just seem to be vehicles exclusively. Um, well, I mean, the pink one can go boom, boom. boom yeah. For no apparent reason. It's um, overbalancing itself. It's as ridiculous as a crane, even though I think it's supposed true. to be a baton. But yeah. still, yeah. it's not working out very well. Yeah, that's true. They they do get those little. Oh, well, I mean the um the 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 Lupin jets seem to be able to do the same thing, or not not exactly the same, but they do seem to have the ability to fold out a weapon uh, for attacks. They just don't use them quite as often. Yeah. Um. But yeah, none of the uh, Pad Ranger mechs seem to have any sort of small mode utility that yeah. we've seen so far, at least. Um, well, in fairness, the only small mode utility we've seen for the rest of them is cracking safes. Yeah. But the the Pad Rangers mechs don't have those dials on them, so that would suggest that they can't be used to crack safes. But I'm, I, they I do have know. triggers, which implies that they might be used to shoot something. Yeah, but we've never seen that in use. Yeah. It's just an interesting thing that I hadn't really given much thought uh, to in a while um, until we got to see uh, Blade... Okay. Being used as a... Yeah, as a, as a cracker, which I was not expecting. I, I figured it was going to be one of the Core 3. Well, if it was one of the Core 3, they'd have to pull an arm off. Well, not, yellow and blue weren't in use at the time. Oh, fair enough. So I don't know why yellow and blue weren't, weren't used. Because they'd be too big. But they weren't... Why would they be too big? Oh, you're right. Like... Blade was smaller than it usually was when it did this. Hmm. To fit across the... Yeah. Do you see that? Yeah, it was weird. It, it sized the itself... Sca the scaling seemed the scaling a on, on on Blade, it scaled itself so that it was the same size on the safe as one of the unenlarged uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> when really, it's big enough to be, uh, like, a whole freaking arm, so... Yeah, the, the scaling seemed a bit off with all that. Yeah. Well, the scaling was off. Um, the question is whether that's a, a property of this. Like, maybe it has that property. Kind of. Maybe they have the ability to be yeah. that size. That one's, that one's the most multi-purpose of, of any of them. Yeah, so really. Far. It really because it, it turns it, into that bl you know shield and blade boomerang at normal size as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, it's it's definitely a very diverse. It didn't tool. it didn't actually look like it was the um, like it was the size that it it would be to scale when it's small. Nor did it look like you know. Yeah, that's what full I'm saying. Size. It was a it was a middle size. But it, it, I mean, even proportionally, it didn't like when it was on the the safe. Mm -hmm. I don't think it looked like it was the size that it would be proportionally on a regular size monster. It looked even small for that. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, so I'm, uh, it, it's, it looked almost like the size it is when it says shield. Yeah. Uh, which is interesting intermediate to use on a giant monster. Um... Also, I like that I was actually able to recognize uh, the prop this time for the Lupin collection. <laughs> um, it was a repainted Turbo Navigator from, from Turbo, which, you know, originally had a different name in Car Ranger. Oh, sure. Um, but it, it, it was functioning as some sort of target system. Yeah. That made his missiles seek. And uh, the t uh, one nice thing with the Turbo Navigator is that it's the, it's the one that's most usual, that, uh, as far as toys go, yeah. it's usually the one packaged with the Phantom Ranger. Oh. Because it converts into, into a little laser gun. Oh, does he shoot it? Like, he never used it in the show, but, but that's, but they wanted to give him a sidearm as a, as a figure. Um, and actually, I think they, I think they give him that in, uh, Legacy Wars as well. I haven't, I haven't unlocked him in Legacy Wars. I haven't played Legacy Wars in a while, I should do that again. Um, I'm just not very good at it, and I believe that Phantom is still premium. Uh, so I, I, I was kind of hoping that uh, he'd get unlocked and uh, to being something that... I, I was hoping he would convert over into an unlockable. Because a lot of the premium ones have. They've, they've moved down to yeah. unlockable as new premiums occurred. Um, but uh, but I, I just... I'm, I'm not... Particularly good at Legacy Wars. I've done okay. Not particularly uh, good at most video games. Uh, yeah, I'm not a great video game. But you know person. what? You're still fun to play with. Um. So yeah, I I I hope that they follow up a little bit more on what's up with Zamigo and his intel and how how he got it. How Ghosh got into the um, maybe Zamigo snuck her in. Yeah, I'm. He does, like, walk through walls and stuff. Does he? No, no, no. He, he, didn't he have, like, wasn't he the His one whole thing is ice. who had that invisible door that one invisible time? Invisible door. In the side of a warehouse? No, that was, no, that was Ghosh. But he was in there, wasn't he? She was performing, uh, human experiments in there. Oh. Um, I mean, I think he was in the same vicinity of the warehouse, and it led to two different fights. Yeah, because there was one but, where he was, like, in a stairwell eating ice. Yeah. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that all worked. But, yeah, it's... I mean, but if Ghost but, can make invisible doors, maybe she can just draw doors through everything. Maybe. I mean, her, her she does have that kind of cool teleport ability. <laughs> doobie doobie doo uh. Um, but I'm starting to wonder if somehow... Zamigo might have uh, some sort of uh, he, maybe he has a guy on the inside or something. Maybe the, the guy on the inside is Sakuya, and he doesn't know it. Uh, I doubt that, but maybe one of the uh, you know a, the higher level officers that we're going to be meeting next time. Maybe one of them might be one. Might be the uh, the mole. Maybe that's maybe Sakuya doesn't get taken over. Maybe Sakuya sees who the mole is. Accuses him, and everybody turns on him. Um, going off of what was happening in that preview, that, that I don't think so, but we'll see. Yeah. I mean, he has the line, "I wasn't being myself," which fair enough. You know that that is a pretty. Classic it's not line like of, 
I just feel like they, that would be such a rehash, considering they already did it to, um... Oh, to Tuma? Yeah. Well, that was a body swap. That's a little different than a, than a personality switch or, or other form of influence. Um, there are a lot of different, you know, wacky mind spells that they play with in this genre. Like, let's not let's not forget that there was an Abba Ranger episode that got translated over into Dino Thunder where everyone got hit with mushrooms that turned into wigs that made them greedy for money. Lost and Found Translation is a great episode. That was... Uh, in, in many ways, I feel, I feel like Power Rangers kind of hit its pinnacle to an extent with Dino Thunder. <laughs> um, like... RPM was was sort of a, a great kind of last guess before uh, before cancellation, but I, I feel like uh, Dino Thunder really delivered on just celebrating the the history of the franchise in so many ways. That's true. And no other season has has managed to really accomplish that since, which including is the twenty fifth anniversary season. I mean, we'll, we'll see what we get for our, for our 25th anniversary or episode. But, 20th anniversary season. But the 20th and 25th seasons have uh, not... Like, the 20th season tried... 20th slash 21st tried to sort of celebrate the history, but really didn't do a good job of it. And 24th and 25th, thus far, haven't really acknowledged the history of the franchise outside of uh, Sledge's cameo. Yeah. But I believe there is going to be a, a 25th anniversary episode. I don't know what's going to be entailed in it. Please do better. Uh, so far, Cause once so far spoilers uh, have been pretty light. Um, but I'd be really fascinated if they managed to like tie things in with Shattered Grid. That would be super cool if they managed to pull that off. That would probably be the coolest thing for Super Ninja Steel to do would be to tie into Shattered Grid. I don't know how they'd do it. I don't know if they'd do it. But it'd be pretty cool if they did it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I, I, I do like how uh, Lupin Ranger Pat Ranger has been doing its um, its little call-outs to the past with every piece with every of Lupin piece collection. Of, yeah. um, most of them are not you know, things that I that I recognize. Because there's so many Sentai seasons that did not get made into Power Rangers. Yeah. Um, but at this point, more Sentai has been made into Power Rangers than, than, than not. Um, so, hopefully, uh, we'll, we'll get to see, as we're moving into, you know, past the, the initial third of the series, maybe we'll, we'll see a little bit more um, Stuff we contemporary recognize. props, which would be nice. Um, there have been, there have been a and then, you know, a good chunk of them have been, like, trigger machines and things like that. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping to, to see more, uh, more fun little Easter eggs like that. Um. It stays small? What? What? And that com that combo was cool, but I, I do kind of, I wonder, I, I, I kind of want to take a quick look and see if I can see a picture of that anywhere online, because um, one of the things that I found really interesting about this combo is that it, it showed that um, that Lupin Red's Zord can take the place of uh, Pat Red's Zord, of Patron One Zord, uh, Patron Ichigo Zord, Zord. Kachira Zord. That one. I can speak. Um, can you? And it's... It's curious because they do have these different um, setups when it comes to combining with uh, with, with Goody Goody's Striker. Alright, so that, that one's got the big red feet. And then for Pat Kaiser... No, it looks a little bit different. Okay, so it's got the little uh, black kneecaps. Oh, but it's 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 
still very similar. Okay, so the wheels are, are in the front there. I wonder if they have an image of uh, the combo. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't expect that image to be up quite yet. Um, eh, I, I'm, uh, maybe, maybe I'm overthinking it, but I feel like there's there's a few little changes between uh, how they combine. Maybe, maybe it's it's more of a of an upper torso change. Thing. Yeah, I thought I thought that that it was like forward for one and back, and the the front for one and the back for the other, and vice versa. I don't versa, think but so because the feet are going the same way. Yeah, um, and I'm not seeing the little nose on the feet, which I was kind of expecting to see there. Um, you know, he's he's a oh, goodies goodies nose, nose is that little it, it's a little jet. Jet nose, orange, um, and and it's only there when he's in jet mode, as opposed to when he's in the um, uh, when he, when he's in his sort of uh, roller mode or whatever. Uh, that's, that's what they're called: dial fighters versus trigger machines. Okay. Um, but anyway, yeah, I was just sort of now you're just looking up stuff, and everybody's watching you surf the internet. It, I was just trying to double check to see how how that all. Fit oh, I never together. realized he wears a different hat. What? You didn't notice? No, I didn't. Yeah, he has a little cop hat when he's with the cops, and a top hat when he's with the when he's with the thieves. I did not notice that. Yeah, it's adorable, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Um. Sorry, it's just my attempt to do a little little bit of research on what we were talking. About. And he had the top hat this time because red was in the middle. No, no, he had the cop hat for most of it until the others joined on. Then he swept, switched over to the top hat. Oh, okay. Um, which was one of the reasons that I was... Yeah, you see, when it's called Packheiser, he's got the cop hat. When it's called Lupenkaiser, he's got the top hat. Um, and I was a little bit thrown off because I thought that there was going to be more of a body change that in order was. for it to become Lupenkaiser. Um... Apparently not. But apparently all it means is he changes his hat. <laughs> That's the main difference. Um, because it was, it was technically, I guess it was, I don't know what the name, I, I, I think I missed the name of the combo for when it was Pat Kreiser with the Lupin head. Um, uh, partially because I'm not sure if they actually named it out loud because they kind of got thrown off once they realized what had happened. Yeah, they were like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I I like this one. Um, I still think that the Pot Rangers need to stop messing with the Lupin Rangers so much because it's not helping anyone to do that. It's counterproductive to the it's, max. It's extremely counterproductive. You're, you're you're alienating your ally of Goody Striker, and you're. Exerting all this energy when you, you guys really should just be working together. Like the only the only people that the Lupin Rangers are stealing from is ganglers. Are ganglers who you want dead anyway? Like just it's okay to kill them, but it's not okay to steal from them. It's it's also just weird how like I want to know what's going on with French HQ. Because if, if that's where Goody Striker came from, like, whoever is working over there... It's Cougar. Like, they should be communicating to the Pat Rangers something about how the Lupin Rangers have been enlisted to reclaim the collection, just like they've been, just like the Pat Rangers have been in, enlisted to destroy the ganglers. And it's really frustrating that they're still just making no progress on this. I understand. A lack of communication is the big problem here. I understand. What we have here is, is a, a failure, failure to, to communicate. communicate. And like, it's one of those things where, yeah, I get it. You you want to maintain conflict between the two teams throughout the season to keep up your gimmick, and I, I recognize that. But you got to try and work towards more creative ways of maintaining your conflict, like the miscommunication 
the previous week with, with yeah. or, or two weeks ago, I guess, with Tuma. With Tuma becoming a gangler and then protecting him and then going, yeah. oh, he's protecting a gangler. That was good. That would have been a perfect thing to use to actually drive a wedge between them, and then it wasn't used that way. Oh, well, I guess they're not with him anyway, either. Any After all. Like, it's... There, there's no, at this, at, there's no real reasonable reason for them to be as antagonistic as they are towards the Lupin Rangers. They've had, uh, the only instances that they've had have been the Lupin Rangers taking, uh, the Cyclone Fighter. Yep. And that has not, uh, that has not been brought up. In ages. Yeah, they, they they don't seem to have, they don't bring that up as a, you know, reason for for hating them or anything. They just hate them because they're thieves. That's it. They already hated them before I that. Don't. And afterwards, they still hate them for just being thieves. for being I thieves. Don't. When really, they're, they're just reclaiming stolen the well, property. Yeah. Except for apparently it actually belongs to the ganglers, but that shouldn't matter to the Power Rangers who want to kill them anyway. Yeah. Um. It's it's very frustrating it's that the frustrating. that the you know supposedly noble team is the one that's really Messing driving the conflict. Up. Um. And I I would like if they kind of worked on that. Um. It's one of my big problems with Keshiro and why we're not really a fan of his outside of him just being ridiculous. I will admit that him diving in on the crane, while, you know, the plan had no real reason to occur, uh, at least was a fun execution. Yeah. It was a fun execution of a completely unnecessary plan. Like... I don't know, I, and I, I, I assume it's because they were out of their seats, hmm. why Goody Striker didn't ditch the arms sooner. That's fair. And I, I, I have to assume that it's because they were out of their seats and he would have left the Potter Rangers inside yeah, that's the, good um, the cockpit, which would have continued to be a problem yeah. for Kyrie. Yeah. It's like, we get them into the airlock so we can blow them out the airlock. It's basically the thing. Get them in their seats! Because he did say, go now. Like, when he finally sat down yeah. and everybody was in their space, go, Goody! Yeah. And then Goody, pfft, jets in the arms. Yeah. Which was good. Um, because you can't make Goody combine when he doesn't want to. Yeah. I mean, you can well, force matter, but you then can, he but can uncombine you almost immediately. Yeah. Um, like, they're treating him, for, for all that he's, the, 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 the whole conflict this, this week was also a little weird in that, you know, it's like, oh, the cops make, make me, you know, feel good. But they treat him more like an object than the Lumen Rangers do. Yeah. They treat him as something that th that is their I mean, you property. never see Goody Striker just hanging around the police station. Yeah. Chatting with them. No. You do see him hanging around the bistro. Yeah. Chatting with them. Yeah. It seems like the only means by which he feels good with the Pot Rangers is because they're the cops, and so it makes him feel like he's on the side of good. But I they're think the worst. I think something's lost in translation with the it makes me feel good thing. I guess. I think he has some sort of a compulsion. Yeah. That, that is being translated as feels good. Yeah. But I think he has some sort of a, he, a Lupin-related uh, compulsion that causes him... He, uh, he, likes help, he likes being helpful, and they make him feel like he's being helpful in some... Because they, they need his assistance to accomplish their goals, I guess. I, yeah, something. But I'm, I'm going to guess that something's lost in the translation with the feels good part. Mm, yeah, maybe. More than just plain feels good. It's like an addiction or something like that that he, yeah. he, he can't help himself. Right. Because Kaidi was saying, he has to do what feels good. And that's not usually how feels good works. If you're a grown person, sometimes you don't do what feels good. It might be more of a feels right kind of thing. Yeah, you have to do, you know, what's for justice or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, Anyways. But I, th I, th I think we probably... Yeah. Uh, uh, about time to wrap up. But yes, we, we enjoyed this. Uh, we're still frustrated that the conflict between the two teams... Is, is still feeling forced. Way forced. I, I would really like for them to, to develop team that up. in some way. Well, either team up or, or develop a, an a actual reason. conflict. 
because we don't have a, a... This is all pointless conflict right now. Yeah. Um, and that's that's one of the things, when you have two teams that are uh, both supposed to, you know, supposed to be on the side for good, um, you know, the you got two choices, basically. You either have them work together, or you need to manufacture a reason to keep them apart. And they're not coming up with reasons to keep them apart, no, really, not. apart from just one team being... Are jerks! Yeah, pretty much. And The Potter Rangers are jerks! And it's supposed to be the, the, the good... Then they're supposed to be, you know, the, Although, the noble team. Kachiru is the worst jerk. Oh, yeah. Kachiru is... At this point, the, at this point, he's basically indoctrinated the other two. Yeah. Um, like earlier on, Sakuya and and Tsukasa probably would have been, you know, willing to work with the Lupin Rangers, but at this point, they've they've just developed this. Uh, Aversion. Well, they they've developed a heavy loyalty to Kichiro, um, yeah. which is why they they were so insistent on kicking out uh, Kairi once he got into the Megazord. Yeah. But it's like, guys, guys, you stole our Zord, so we, you know, nabbed it back in the Megazord. It's not like, you know, this is a big thing. You interrupted us, so yeah, we're interrupting you back so we can finish what we came here to then do. Then we focus on killing the big black sheep. Anyway, so enough of that ranting. Um, at least it uh, looks like next week we'll, we'll have some more <laughs> manufactured conflict, but it'll be within a team for once. So maybe that'll be fun. All right. So I think it's time to wrap up. So until next time, farewell, farewell Ranger fans, and let the power protect you. Eyes on the road. Eyes on the road. We're cops.